Hi everyone, this is Ramesh. In this video, I will teach you about how SAX parser work and uh, I will show you one sample example to pass sample one sample XML document using SAX parser. Uh, let's go and start our example. SAX parser is based on events and coming to DOM parser. DOM parser is internally loads complete documents at a time and it will maintain in memory data data and go for further processing of the uh, XML elements. Here we start. Uh, this is my main application. In this example, I created one uh, XML document to parse. This is a sample XML document. It is very simple. Uh, here, employees is the main element and here in this employees i created one employee element it has a one employee attribute and these are the elements child elements of this employee element i want to uh, show how to pass this xml document using sax sax is based on events right to handle that events we need a one event handler for that i am creating one event handler class to handle that events I creating one employee handler. This class should extend default handler. This class internal and this default handler class internally having some event based methods. We should extend that one. Implement. In this example, I am extending these methods end element, end document, start element, start document. Enough. In this example, I am extending these methods. Uh, this stored document method will be fired whenever whenever sax parser is being parsing this document. For that confirmation, I am printing some message stored document method this end document is printed means this will be fired when our document had parsed for confirmation i am printing document. start element this this method will be fired when our start element noticed by parser here you see this is the start element this is the start element this is the start element this is start here in parallel we can notice these are the end elements here in this example i am i am as it is only pin, printing the parsed xml document to console for that i am printing if I am checking this document this start element has an attribute or not for that if attributes dot get length greater than zero means this element has some attributes if length greater than zero I am going to print it for I'll take one index element
attributes attributes dot get q name attribute name of i this is so I'm appending equal to plus attribute dot get value of particular index element here we get this emp number and here appending equal to and right after that i am getting this value and printing for that i have to append to get this quotations I added this here let's go further if after that I have to add this one this I'm opening here right I closed this one here if no attributes spawn in case no attributes spawn I simply printing that one this q here this is open element open element completed when element start started this part will be executed when element is closing we have to close that element whatever the element we receiving we have to close that one simply I close the element here and here you can handle the text kind of text between the elements this is the element right in this element this is the text we have to handle the text of element here I'm simply printing the text here print no string care from carrier starting and length now my handler class is ready now I want to uh, develop sax parser related code sax pa for that to, uh, for to pass a document we need a sax parser for that we need a sax parser factory sax parser factory sax parser factory sax parser factory dot new instance after you have to get sax parser from sax parser factory sax sax parser it will throw some exceptions I handled it here these two exceptions this method will throw I handled it here simply I am redrawing them and coming to using sax parser we have to pass that xml for that sax parser dot parse string file name what is the uh, file name employees dot xml right and our handler instance we have to pass new employee handler right this will this method will throw io exception for that we have written io exception i had thrown this is the process let's run the program and see the how it works here is the output here you can notice 
we know our sex parser uh, right to parse the document it will call start document after that it will process the document uh, accordingly start element and end element and characters related uh, some event based methods these these are you can see start element end element and characters these are the event based methods will be called by sax parser internally and uh, finally uh, finally once document uh, parsing completed it will call end document this is the story of uh, sax parser thank you guys